morning students today we'll see more example of the uh, same chapter till fourth we have done earlier and today we'll start with example number 5 question says the shadow of the tower standing on the level ground is found to be 40 meter longer when the sun's altitude is 60 then uh, sun's altitude is 30 when it uh, then when it was 60 now uh, the question is uh, uh, important as far as the exam is concerned the language is bit tough question says again i'm reading the shadow of the tower so let me make first the tower this is a tower ab is a tower and this is its <coughs> initial set shadow b c <coughs> question says <coughs> the shadow is found 40 meter longer meaning longer meaning is a comparison between two shadows so first shadow is here it is getting 40 meter longer 40 meter longer uh when the sun's altitude is 30 when the sun suppose it is <coughs> sun it is sun something like that and sun's altitude is 30 and comparison between two situation then it was 60 meaning meaning this was a 60 now you will read that question again you will catch that question says the shadow of the the shadow these are the two shadows first one this one and second obviously this one this one both are the shadow of the ab at different position of the sun sun is here then angle is 30 when obviously sun was here the angle was 60 definitely when sun is here the angle was 60 when sun down uh, you know that uh, uh, sets down definitely angle will be 30 and question according to question the sun the shadow of the tower found 40 meter longer longer than <coughs> uh, 40 meter longer when the sun's altitude is 30 then it is 60 meaning that when the angle of elevation is 30 then it is 40 meter longer than the angle it was a 60 so it's a comparison between the two shadow this time it is 60 when sun sets down it is 40 meter longer and then angle is 30 so one should know about that the angle is actually forming so far uh, when it is being very far the angle will be less when the angle uh, the angle is being formed near to the tower it will be higher and higher so two things keep remember this is actually far away from this so it is a smaller it is a greater the uh, two things keep remember that 40 meter longer that only condition of the sun when sun was here the angle was 60 when sun sets down the angle become 30 and the shadow now uh, gonna be 40 meter longer so whole conditions front of you uh, for we just have to find the height of the tower suppose we have to find ab h uh, i i named it and it is suppose x so scenario now uh, with you i just want to start my writing let ab equal to h meter uh is height of the tower let a uh, ab equal to h meter height of the tower let bc is equal to x in meter and cd is equal to 40 meter so first i will take the small triangle abc in triangle abc i'll go with tan theta perpendicular upon base so theta will be 60 perpendicular is h and base is x so tan 60 is itself root 3 is equal to h upon x h upon x now do cross multiplication here you have got one equation till now you haven't got any particular value either of h or x do by about that but what is the equation you obtained keep it safe and give it a one equation now i'll go with a uh, in triangle a b c d by again going tan theta perpendicular upon the base look at the thing now i'm taking a big triangle a b d so instead of theta you will put 30 degree tan 30 h upon definitely perpendicular is h and base is whole 
Sometimes student used to write only 40, but 40 is wrong. Base is for big triangle, base is whole this B to D. So B to D is X and 40. Just join them X plus 40. And now 10, 30 is a 1 by root 3. H upon X plus 40. Do the cross multiplication. This will turn with uh, 1. And this will multiply with this. Whatever the value is being here, you don't worry about. Whatever the value we obtained in uh, equation number 1, you put here. You don't think that what we will get here from here. But just put by 1. What is this value is being here? H equal to this. So instead of H, put this. So I write here X plus 40. Instead of H, I am going to put root 3X into root 3. Now, X plus 40 is equal to these two will be 3 into X. X I will transfer this side. 40 is equal to 3X minus X is going to be 2X. Next is equal to 20. This is not an answer, but this is X. And when you have got X, you want to find the height of the tower, which is H. And H can be found from here. By 1, I go by 1. We have a h equal to root 3x, put the value, so x is equal to 20, ultimately I get 20 root 3 and if you have given the value of root 3 in a question, no it is not given, so answer should be left here, this 20 root 3 meter is the height of the tower. So this is a actually important question, the question that the, the procedure, the work uh, was very simple. But as far as the picture is concerned or the statement is concerned, it is very important. Okay, so let me wrap and uh, let me move on the next question. Now I do the example number 6 for you. Uh, let me wrap this first. Now I move on to question number example number six. So what it says? Example six is the angle of depression. If the first time the angle of depression is coming, and I have taught you the angle of depression when it forms. When this is a tower, this is a road. This is a tower. This is a road or ground. The ball is here. Ball is here. And observer is sitting on the floor on the top of the building or tower when he or she is looking to his or her ball from their side this is the imaginary eyesight or imaginary plane which is parallel to the given plane this angle is always angle of depression and let me explain that these two lines are parallel line so this theta so this is also theta this is also theta because these are alternative alternative integer angle so you know picture will be like that uh, for, as far as uh, we uh, concern about uh, when angle of depression comes, always object will be downside and observer will be upside and he or she will look to the object from the upside. So this particular angle will be angle of depression. Okay. So this situation definitely will form in the next question because uh, uh, it is specially stated here. Question says the angle of depression of the top and the bottom of 8 meter tall building from the top of multi-story building is uh, 30 and 45. Read the question again from what is being there. From what is very important from the top of multi-story building. So first I am making here I am making here multi-story building. This is a AB is a multi-story building and question says the angle of depression of the top and bottom of 8 meter tall building. So this is the 8 meter tall building. This is 8 meter tall building. Try to understand. 8 meter tall building. And question says the angle of depression of top and bottom of 8 meter tall building from the top of the multi-story building. So this is multi-story building. This is multi-story building and this is a top of the multi-story building and from word meaning observer is here. Now observer is here and she or he is looking to its top and its bottom. Now this time object is not here but the observer is looking something now. The observer is looking to the top, 
the observer is looking to the bottom of the 8 meter tall building from word will help you to form the angle from the top of the multi story building meaning angle will form here here and this is angle of depression you know the observer will see first its top and second its bottom first i'll say when he or she will look from the top of the multi story building to the top of the 8 meter tall building the angle of depression being 30 degree first is 30 and second is 45 first uh, respective the condition top and the for uh, the angle of depression top and bottom so first the angle of top and second angle of bottom so first angle is 30 so i have to make the 30 degree how i make i have to i have to make the imaginary plane which is a uh, parallel to the the given plane and this angle is gonna be 30 degree and recently i made here two angle this is 30 i'll make again an imaginary plane which is passing from that point so if it is 30 this is also 30 very simple this both are both are alternative interior angle and second when she or he looks to to its bottom to its bottom like that like that what one must know that this again angle this again angle is a 45 45 is here yes 45 so how, how i make the 45 angle this is a 45 degree this is 45 you keep remember that the angle of depression normally make with the help of the imaginary plane and this is 45 so this whole angle is again 45 degree you should not be surprised and this is a good picture now with you question says find the height of the multi-story building we have to find the height of this suppose this is a point e and one should know that this is a 8 meter so this is again the 8 meter very simple symmetry it is one can simply understand it is not in a, a, a tough picture it's actually in a rectangle when rectangle it is here it's 8 meters also 8 meter we ultimately find the value we have to find finding the value of the ab the height of the multi-story building so i name it h and I'll only try to find the value of H. When I'll succeed to find the value of H, I will add H and 8. H plus 8 will be your answer because the whole is a multi-story building. This is a known value and I assume it is H. It is a known value. Again, I assume it is X and it is also X because both are same. Both are same. So picture is front of you. Now the formal writing I'll, I'll start. Let AB is equal to AB is AB is height of multi-story building. Please you write complete. Let CD is equal to 8 meter. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, let CD is equal to 8 meter and uh, therefore EB also 8 meter. Now CD is equal to 8 meter so EB also at uh, 8 meter. Let AE is equal to H meter and BD is equal to EC is equal to x so these all assumptions i have done initially now what to do you can simply understand what i'm going to do first i'll take a small triangle a e c in triangle a e c go with 10 perpendicular upon base so theta is 30 perpendicular is h and base is x so 10 30 is itself root 3 h upon x do the cross multiplication it will be this so nothing tough we have got one equation very easily now i'll go on a, the next triangle in triangle big triangle a b d this is right angle this is also right angle a b d so if i'm going a b d i'll take again 10 theta is equal to p upon b so what is uh, theta? This time, this time theta is 45. So 1045 is equal to P meaning this whole. 
this whole meaning h plus 8. So I'll write h plus 8 upon this is x. Here it is x. And again so look perpendicular upon base h plus 8 upon x. So now 1045 is uh, definitely 1 is equal to h plus 8 upon x. Do the cross multiplication. x will be removed here and this is going to be your equation. Now guys put here x equal to whatever it simply being there x equal to this I am putting by 1 by 1 instead of x h root 3 put here h root 3 is equal to h plus 8 now transfer here h root 3 minus h equal to 8 take out h common root 3 minus 1 is equal to 8 now look at very it's very interesting it is in multiplication it will go in division root 3 minus 1 now how I find the value because root 3 is in denominator uh, in your book root 3 value is not given so you can uh, also drop your answer here but it is not looking good so you do only rationalize you have to do the rationalization so that answer will become a, a more interesting and easy so how to rationalize the denominator it is a minus sign so do divide and multiply by plus sign what will come in numerator side 8 into this will come and in denominator a minus b and a plus b it is a square minus b square so a square minus b square will come so one should know that what coming in denominator side it is 3 and it is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 and you can cancel to this 4 it will be 4 and this is uh, h equal to what we have got h equal to 4 root 3 plus 1 this is not an answer but this is only h here now I will have to find both so so uh, now let me rub this picture this picture because already we have seen the, your answer is you remember your answer is a b meaning h plus 8 so lastly you will write the height of the tower the height of the tower height of the tower a b is equal to h plus 8 so what is your h h is equal to you have got 4 root 3 plus 1 plus 8 now you multiply inside 4 root 3 plus 4 ones are 4 plus 8 and 8 and 4 will be 12 so 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 we've got now till now we've got 4 root 3 plus 12 you can drop your answer right here or you have one, one more uh, things to do you can take out 4 common so your answer will be 4 3 is 12 and this is a height of the tower you have got 4 root 3 plus 3 meter so this is our working this is actually a long working but it is the question is very easy so student you to try now exercise 9.1 so tomorrow we will see some question of the exercise thank you